Besides, let's welcome Edgar Perez. Thank you for joining us, Edgar. Uh, China dealt with more than 500,000 IPR cases in 2020, reflecting a significant increase in law enforcement. How do you evaluate efforts on the protection of IP in China so far? I think there's been a great progress. And if you look at the statistics at the moment, more than 80% of members of the community are in favor of the current progress in, the, in China. Moving forward, though, I think there are going to be some important challenges. You think about IP, we're trying to protect rights for all companies because they want to go to market with a security that they're going to be protected. That being said, this is a very expensive process. Therefore, we still have to guarantee that not only large organizations will have access to this protection, but also smaller enterprises. China's PCT interna international patent applications reached almost uh, 70,000 cases in 2020. How and why does IP protection help global economy? Absolutely. IP protection helps companies to go abroad, to expand. First of all, if you are a company and you are marketing products and services, your clients want to know that you are the legal rightful owner of the IP behind the products and services you offer. Therefore, your clients will come to you as opposed to the competition. Mm. It gives you a clear competitive advantage against companies in the same business. If you're looking to expand into other markets, equally, it needs to definitely to have that protection. And finally, IP also allows you to become a more credible player in the business. If you go to the bank and you're looking for credit, if you have assets like IP rights, that's something that could serve as a collateral. There are a series of actions using high tech for IP protection, such as blockchain across the world. What's the future for IP protection uh, technology? Indeed. The blockchain is a decentralized ledger and will help you read core transactions there with a level of clarity. So definitely there won't be any discussion. Many of the issues that current cores are facing related to IP, it's about timing. Who was the first company coming with this idea? And the difference is, of course, gets even more complicated when you're looking at companies from different geographies. If we apply the blockchain in the future, these type of disagreements will disappear because there will be a clear record there of who was first in developing a new idea. So this is just one of the benefits that the blockchain can bring. And of course, there are still many challenges for a potential implementation, but nonetheless, the future will be benefited by the application of blockchain protecting intellectual rights. Thank you so much for your insights, Erica. Always nice. You're welcome.